DIY blackout blinds. All you need is a little bit of water on your hands, put it on the window, get some tin foil, whack that on the window, you've got yourself your own blackout blind. I use massive ice cube trays for anything like pasta sauce, purees, I've got lots of portions, rammed into my freezer, it doesn't take up as much space as Tupperware, and you get a larger portion than you would if you just used kind of a classic ice cube tray size. Instead of buying one personalized card for every celebration in your child's life, why don't you just buy a stack of cards that are all fun but all neutral so they can be used for any type of celebration and the kids can personalize it. I'm making one for mom and dad and my brother and sister. Thank I think you. grandma would love that. If you want your kids to look slightly less feral than usual, a good place to start is their shoes. Just grab a crayon that color matches them and fill in the scuffy bits and they will be good as new. When you find that your fruit is turning, just whack it in your freezer so you're good to go and you can make them ice cream. So we've used just some banana that was in our freezer and some mango and pineapple. You're gonna blitz it, just put a little bit of either dairy milk or non-dairy milk in there. You're gonna whiz it. And then it makes a lovely ice cream. Two things I keep under both kids' beds are a fresh sheet in case of the middle of the night stomach bug surprises and puppy training pads. They're basically like massive absorbent squares. They're way cheaper than potty training pads. You can cut them up, you can slip them in the car seat, you can put them under the sheets when, you know, when there are stomach bugs in the house and it just makes clear up so much easier. If you want to save money and the environment, don't buy kids clothes new. Just get hand-me-downs, go to charity shops. You can get really nice stuff in charity shops. Um, and then when you're done, give them to somebody else. Just keep the cycle going. Lemon is the key to everything. All you have to do is chop up a couple of slices of lemon, put it in a bowl with some water, put it in the microwave for about a minute, and then literally just get a sponge using that water and just wipe your surfaces away. The smell and how it just gets rid of all the dirt, you can thank me later. If you don't want to overspend, I wouldn't recommend going out shopping without a plan. Just write it down on your phone and then you can delete each item as you grab them and you'll never forget your list at home. Oh my goodness. So we're making our favorite easy flapjacks, which is two cups of oat and then I've got a mixture here of um, kind of mushed up banana to sweeten along with an egg and two ounces of butter. We love them. Try this. On Sunday, make all of the sandwiches ready, stick them in Ziploc bags and put them in the freezer. And then every morning, just grab your bags, stick them in a lunchbox and by lunchtime, it'll be defrosted, uh, ready for your little darling's lunch. The library can be a great cost-free activity. You'd be surprised at how kids can get excited about picking out their own books and it can be like an adventure for them. And if you're thinking, oh, you don't know my kids, they're way too young or way too loud for the library, a lot of libraries have a calendar of events for kids. One way to save some money is to do something that I call parent sharing, where your friends have kids, you say, do you want to look after my kid and then I'll pay you back and I'll look after your kid another time. There's apps that keep track of it all. Plus, you get to watch Love Island with the boys. Uh-oh, just texting them now. Love Island Marathon at my house. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Save some money by making your own baby food. Just whisk them up in a blender and at least you will know what your baby is eating. You know January sales when all the stores are trying to get rid of their gift wrapping for cheap? Get them. Even if Christmas is very, very far away, a lot of these bags can work for any celebration, really. About a year ago, it occurred to me that I was probably using a roll of kitchen roll and a pack of wipes every few days at meal times, just kind of trying to keep on top of all of the mess. And then I bought loads of colorful microfiber cloths. And now I use one for the kids' faces, one for the surfaces each meal time. And well, I feel like I'm saving the planet and quite a lot of cash. <laughs> Wow.